What up, Yens? This week on Car Dad Bill is a 2021 Toyota Highlander Platinum Hybrid 4x4 all-wheel drive, seven passenger. Let's go for a ride. So starting off up front, we have some LED markers. We have some LED lights, some LED fog lights, a nice upright front grill with the blue Honda or the blue hybrid Toyota symbol. Hear that, hear that fan running? That's the hybrid system because the car is actually running right now. 20 inch wheels, hybrid logos on the side, all wheel drive, real streamlined. Real smooth design. I like the line that goes from here straight back through. Real nice. Flat rear end again. No bumper really. There's a little bit of a kick plate kind of thing, but not really a true bumper. Power lift gate in the back. Really like the, the Lexus looking tail lights with the, with the reflectors on the bottom. One exhaust pipe coming out the back clean looking family SUV. Let's jump inside. All right, we're inside the Highlander. When we turn it on, it's a hybrid. So it just comes on, no engine starts, no engine noises. Uh, it's just a basic startup of the vehicle. And look at the interior on this. It's everything you need with not a whole lot of extra stuff. Real nice design. Materials again meeting different materials. That's what you look for at least what I look for in cars when I'm reviewing them is What kind of material usage is there and against each other and what works what doesn't work? This stuff works wood grain leather stitched leather polished aluminum. I Love these cubby holes that go all the way across Fantastic power buttons down here. These are all of your regular you know, connections, your, your HVAC system, your audio, your phone, your map, you can actually bring that back and forth. You can swipe them back and forth. So that makes it a little bit easier to do stuff. Or you have direct buttons down here, which I know it's redundant to have that, right? But I like to have the direct selection buttons and the knob, but the Venza didn't have that, remember? The Venza didn't have knobs. It was all touchscreen down here wireless charging, your USB ports are down there. Huge cup holder, parking brake, auto hold, your drive modes, your EV modes, your trail mode. On this side are the rest of the buttons that you need. Really nice design, like I said, like it's just all the materials come together in a waterfall and look how the dash is set up with your heads up display. Um, just really clean inside here. This slides back for you to be able to get in there. There's your um, wireless charging, by the way. And then this goes down even farther. Look how far down that goes. It's all the way down, half my arms in there. There's your phone. That keeps it out of sight, out of mind. Now in the back, we have a moonroof. But in back, let me show you what one of my favorite features is back there. All right, so the kids are going to try to get in, right? And Anna's sitting in her seat right here, and the boys want to get back there. So without, like, normally this is up here so she can buckle herself. If you move that out of the way and you flip this forward with the car seat in it, I mean, obviously Anna should not be in there when that happens, but there's a little step there, and boom, they're up into their seats. 
And there you can see one's folded down. I'm gonna show you in the back here in a second, but one's folded down. That's the other side and that's moved up. So there's enough room back there for kids. Adults, I don't know if I would do that. So there's that, that toggles this and this folds it flat. So this slides forward and backward. This works the back. This works folding it forward. This works flipping it over. Captain's chairs with the, with the middle cup holder. Let's look at the back. Back here, button underneath. You have two cameras back here, by the way. Those two cameras are the mirror. The mirror up there changes, and it's the rear view camera. So here, the seat's down, and it has a nice rubber mat that covers everything. So that's really, that's a nice feature. Here's your JBL subwoofer that rocks, by the way. This picks up the seat. You can fold the seat back even farther, flip up the headrest, and now you have three seats, two seats, two seats. Good storage. Love. Couple fun facts before we go on the road. 21 Highlander Hybrid Platinum, 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid drive, 243 horsepower total power, not bad. 20 inch alloy wheels outside, really nice alloy wheels. Captain's chairs, JBL sound system. Um, mileage is 32 MPG on the gauge. They average 35 MPG on the Monroney. Seven passenger, like I said before. Um, and the MSRP is 51,808. So not horrible. Uh, you're getting a lot of stuff in here. This is the Platinum, obviously. So you're getting all the upgraded stuff. It's a nice car. So driving around and this, is, it doesn't get much better than a Highlander for family vehicle, ease of use, um, comfortable, all those things add in the hybrid drivetrain and now you have something that gets in the 30s mpg on a regular basis that carries the whole family that's pretty sweet i mean that's a pretty good compromise in my mind to go from a, a big gas guzzling suv to something that's 32 33 miles of the gallon on an average and when you're in the city more, you know, urban areas more, you're going to get closer to 40 if you drive it like a hybrid should be driven, which is light on the pedal. So thumbs up. Great job on the ease of use and the drivability of a seven passenger vehicle. I was thinking the other day while driving this that I wish they could do something with the hybrid noise, like the engine noise that comes out of a hybrid because it's just a four cylinder understood, but it's so loud. And it's so like in your face while you're driving i wish they made that sound cooler or made that sound you know tougher somehow because it's just a whining engine when you're under full throttle and it's annoying top three things about the highlander number one hybrid drivetrain excellent performance good mpg the drivetrain is number one in my opinion number two has to be storage capacity and cargo space for kids, parents, stuff, vacation stuff, whatever. It holds everything. Even with the third row up, you can hold a lot of stuff. Now, if you had, if I had bench seats in the back, that would be a little more advantageous for my family for vacations. But even with that, the way it was, I was able to do it and carry everything I needed. Third thing about this car that's my favorite is the layout. The interior layout, the dashboard layout, the storage compartments that are here, the way that the back kind of changes around. You can slide the seats forward and backwards a little bit over. You can move everything down. You can fold everything flat. You have space behind everything. It's, it's just a great family vehicle. I'm gonna go over to the highway real quick and jump on the on-ramp so you guys can hear just how loud uh, the hybrid drive sounds when you're on full throttle. And that's not a knock necessarily to it because it does work well, but I just want you to hear what it sounds like. And then the highway noise is almost non-existent on the inside, in the inside of the cabin. So I'll be right back. All right, Yen's getting on the highway. I'm gonna juice it when we get on there. 
so you guys can hear because right now the radio is off i have the air conditioning on but you can hear the cabin is silent i mean it's it's really well made insulated but it always has a little bit of a different feel on the highway speed quickly when we're at highway speed not a whole lot of lag then you jump on it again just to get a little more off I mean it does all right but there you go this is highway speed this is the speed you'd be driving at anywhere on the interstate so it's got a nice ride to it on the highway the adaptable cruise control, the radar cruise works flawlessly. Um, yeah, car dad Bill signing off this week. Great car, Highlander, hybrid, wonderful vehicle. Uh, real cars, real people, real life. Talk to you guys next week. Thanks for watching.